So hello everyone. Thanks. First, thanks for joining. <laughs> I hope you appreciate you appreciate, and I can show you a bit of my experience and the value I can. So um, yeah, I start on YouTube first of all. Like when I was 13 years old. Now I'm 20. So seven years ago, I I was like the typical kid that wants to be YouTuber. So then I realized I want to start because I want to be rich making videos. And I, I created my first channel that it was like magic, a magician. I just show people how to do magic tricks and this kind of stuff. And then I got my first like first thousand subscribers. So it, I monetize the channel and I make my, my first like 10 or 20 euros with that. But then I realized I'm just doing this for money. I don't really love this. So <laughs> I was 14, 15. I just changed. And I had my first, the typical like period playing League of Legends, Fortnite, this type <laughs> with 15 years. So then I, I started recording my, my plays on a new YouTube channel about games. And I started, I stayed two years uploading daily on the channel. Daily, eh? it was like <laughs> every day, every day uploading there. But I was just doing volume, but without any skill on thumbnails, titles. So I just had one viral that uh, arrived to 200,000 views. And then I made like my first 200 euros that I reinvest on, on a microphone. But this was like a very like, mm, what's the name? Like very surprising to me to make money uploading videos. So then I started uh, knowing more about YouTube, like trying to learn and trying to be <laughs> Uh, learning more to grow and then I had this period about I'm the best I know everything about YouTube so I start a new YouTube channel explaining people how to grow on YouTube and how to make money with YouTube <laughs> and then I had this time of period I stayed like one two years uh, uploading videos I arrived to 10,000 subscribers on a new channel and and I was making like a hundred euros per month on a Spanish if, if you find like Marcel Gill it will be like my channel so then, um, more or less one year, one year and a half, no, really one year ago, I started with YouTube automation because I saw on a Facebook group people talking about, uh, this is how much I made without recording videos. And I was like, whoa, this can work. Or I don't know, let's try it. So I then I started my first YouTube search based channel. It was about tutorials. So the good point about that is that before starting this channel, I start like a lot more on series, on films. Uh, I then do some kind of entertainment channels. So I, I open, I think, more than 20 channels. So I have quite good experience on a lot of topics. But my main problem was that I never focused. So then I say, OK, let's stop. It was November 2021. Let's start this channel and let's stay a year uploading videos. So I didn't record anything. I just outsourced people like the typical methods, three dollars and uploading videos. So then one year later, now uh, last month of November, I made like 5,000 euros with the channel. And this month, I think probably will be 3,000. So it kind of works. I think I stay like a lot this year studying why tutorials rank creating excels and this kind of things talking as well with George and with all the guys Yori and this type of guys that makes sales strategies so this is a bit of my experience the good point is that I I, I didn't have success on a lot of channels so I learned a lot with that and the other one it, that's when I focus on tutorials it works for me so I think I can help I don't know if you have any question or something <laughs> let's see yeah so I think one of the one of the things that really separates you from other people is like you said about the whole Excel and how you go very deep into the analytics and to the data of your tutorial channels. Because a lot of people that I know, they just push, 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 upload, upload, upload. Oh, some videos ran good. My views in 48 hours are growing and so forth. When when I because I, and I have we have the conversations that with you uh, are recorded and they are on my channel and like you guys should go there and check out these conversations because 
Marcel showed the excels that he was doing and he was inputting like all of the data and he has like graphs about how long it takes to rank a, a video how long does a video like actually live there and, and and all of that so i think that's the first thing that like really separates you from everybody else and the second thing which i find really fascinating and that's also once again like you've showed me that and i know that i saw firsthand is the amount of experiments you've done on youtube like yeah. Obviously, a lot of people here are interested in YouTube automation and, you know, the search and whatever browse. But like I was I was fascinated by the number of different channels you have and the different ways you were monetizing that attention and that traffic there. I, I mean, I don't want to give away too much because I want to give you the opportunity to talk, obviously. But I'm just going to give one example just so you guys have some kind of an idea. So. Marcel started this channel. He uploaded like three videos about this small little like poodle dog or something. Like, I don't know. It's like about a dog. Okay. Yeah. Like a small dog. It's a really cute dog. Okay. But he would never think about that. And what he did was he reached out to a girl who breeds these dogs. And he, he agreed that he's going to put her WhatsApp link underneath the video. So he made these videos. They got views and then people started reaching out. And the fun and the crazy thing is that he actually sold like, did he sell a dog? Yeah, yeah, a lot. More than 10 dogs. <laughs> That's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. I can show you. I don't know if, if you usually share screen, but it's like... You can share, man. You yeah. can share, I think. Yeah, I think the good point that usually I, I just try to do is like thinking always more outside the box. The typical thing about how can I make money on this sector? How can I monetize this type of videos? So for example, here you have, I don't know if you are watching the screen. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the one. So this was the channel. Basically I'm a Spanish, so it's Poodle Toy in Spanish. Um, and here we have all videos. This was like an experiment that I want just to try. And I had this dog because I, I like I start with I bought this dog, so I think I searched on YouTube and there was almost no anything, almost no information. So I made like a series of four videos about all you need to know about Poodle Toys. And here it was the, the affiliate Compre link. If you, <laughs> yeah, it's me. If, if you go here, it's contact this, this girl to buy your Poodle Toy. Mm -hmm. We can talk about if it's ethical or not ethical. It was just a trial, but it really like works. And then we have people that if you click this link, you open directly the WhatsApp with a text about, Hey, my name, is, I, I saw Marcel talking about you on YouTube and I love it. Can you explain me more about that? So then she knows that it's from my part. And, and if, if she finally sells the dog, it's like I, I make my affiliate. So yeah, it works very good if you see 30,000 views then almost all these videos has affiliate so i've earned like 50 euros more so with a channel that it's it's not monetized just less than 500 subscribers i made i think more than a thousand euros like like it was quite interesting so, yeah yeah then and I, that's just and that's just one example huh yeah then i have here another Ooh. experiment that i made about amazon affiliates so i just take a uh, things that i have on my on my home and i made a review about 14 videos in one month so if we, if we go to popular this it doesn't come this is more like more than a year ago but all these videos i made it on august of this year more than 10,000 subs 9,000 i views 9,000 views 7,000 views so i i think there is a lot of opportunity on youtube if you really know how to how to do it and the, the most like funniest part is that with these videos, I, I, I didn't upload anything like from three months ago from August. And if we go, for example, to the affiliates, like this last month, I think I, I made 111 euros just with the, the videos that I upload three months or four months ago. So it, it works again, another experiment. So yeah, I don't know. I, I try a lot of things. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and the thing I like the most about this is that like 
you make the video once or like you make you made the videos and then they still like you said you know months yeah. later it can can still work and can still but like the the approach that you did with like trying different things i think is super smart but yeah look look at this hello <laughs> anyway um you guys have any questions please feel feel free to uh yeah. uh raise your hands for um for marcel all right we got halim is that the dog that marcel sold or <laughs> <laughs> I know, kind of. yeah. I wish. Um, so yeah, my question is basically, you were talking a little bit about the Excel spreadsheets that you have with data and analyzing different things. I wonder if you're able to talk a little bit more about that, what you're looking for and in and, and your approach yeah. against it. I can show you if you want. If you want. Here, yeah, those, I think those this are, is no, the more... You, you can sell those Excels. Yeah, I have people that want this. Here, Bro, I swear to God, you can sell them. Here, I will show you a bit because I think this is very interesting and and that's like it's more like more rational and things and and seeing if this works or not. This is my Spanish channel, so I started in November. Here we have the impressions. Sorry, it's in Spanish. So impressions, like you, we can see this is the percentage that grows every month or or reverse if if they don't grow like how they go down how much so we can see that for example this last month i just i just i stopped this channel for months so we can see that when i stop it it goes like 10 percent down eight percent down and here i start uploading again so we can see when i upload again all channel goes up but to to do an overall so because here there are a lot of numbers and if we go to this like windows it will be crazy here we have like the impressions, then the visits, then we have the RPM, and this is monthly always. This is more like an overview. This is the money I made with YouTube and with affiliates. So for example, this last month it was crazy because I, I had like a very good promotion with affiliates. So I made like $3,300 with just this channel. So it's a very huge growth <laughs> compared to last month. So we have as well the how much I spend every month. So last month I spent $600 and the benefit and the new videos I upload. So November I upload 164 videos. So this is how much every video cost, the total videos, and then how much every video that I upload give me. Like if we divide all the revenue I made with, with all the videos that I upload every video, like I, I earn $4 Point forty one cents with every video you upload. So if my cost is four dollars, I'm with profits. Like it's an overall. So this will be like my first window. If you don't understand anything or if you want to ask, let's go. Like then... so, something I want to ask about this then is um, obviously I can see this is capturing a lot of the, the the real data. But how do you analyze this to make decisions moving forward? Okay, is it, is it anything you do like that? Yeah, this is more like overall. The the good points that I usually make to analyze that is, for example, this second window that it's more okay. On November of 2021, I upload 57 videos. They cost me five euros point thirty nine cents, so it was a 300 euros investment, and I made with a year 600 euros. So here I have track of every month how much money the videos that I upload on November made me. So then I can go here and I can say, okay, one year after uploading the videos, these videos still made me 41 euros. And, but if we go to December, just three euros. If we go to January, 16 euros to February, 113 euros. So this is more like usually an overall about, okay, the December videos were, were a disaster because I upload the same quantity of November. And these are making me three euros right now, and November ones are 41 euros. So the, with this, you can have more data, usually about nice. The, then another thing that I think it's important that you can have here is that if you see usually the spike of, B, of euros that you have with the videos is usually three to five months. So if we go here, for example, you, you can see the videos that they upload on February they made me 11 euros the, the, the February month. On March, they made me 63. 
on April 100 and the best month was the fourth in this case, that it was 126. So this is interesting as well because if we go here, that this is another more like in deep Excel, we can see that usually in with this channel, with this type of tutorials, the graphic of the videos are always like this. Like usually it stays like five months. In five months you go to the maximum views. Here is like a graph with views and here a graph with money. And after the five months, it goes down, 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 down. And, and we can see that it goes down. But if you do it bad and if you upload bad videos, you can see that this graph is just on the second month on the second month was almost second, fourth, it was like kind of the tops. And then after that, very huge drop and drop, drop, drop. But if you go to every month, you can see that it's very similar the graph, usually like the same, the same. If you do it good, you can see that the that the decline it goes down like more step by step. And if you do it bad, it goes more faster. So that's quite of in, quite interesting for me, like analyzing all this, because it was like, okay, so I know these videos probably, if I do it good, they have a life duration of about three years. In three years, I will don't make money with the videos of today. But I think if you analyze this, usually the graph is all, it's always the same. This is this was a very bit different because I just upload seven videos, so it, it doesn't count that much. But if we go like this, it's always the same. So what I'm trying is to try to do better videos to this like graph staying more month, growing, growing, growing. And another thing I realized, <clears throat> sorry for speaking a lot, but I think it's interesting as well. It's like, if we go to my English channel, oh, one second, English. You can see that on my Spanish, it's usually three to five months and then it, is, it starts dropping. But if we go to my English channel, we can see that the videos that you upload on March, they passed eight months and they still made more views every month that ha that passed. We can see as well with all the graph of the months. So this is basically what I what I realized with all this data is that if your barrier of entry is higher and your your it's more difficult to do a tutorial about this topic, usually your video will stay a lot longer rank. So I estimate with this type of videos that will stay rank at least five years. So in my Spanish, it's more than three, it's like three years. So here usually it will stay more like five years. So what is good about that is that if we go here every month, I'm making more money with the, all the videos every month. It's like, I didn't have the drop yet. So I'm just like seeing like, oh, if I go to more difficult topics that the barrier of entry is higher, the videos stay a lot more years. So then I made more experiments and I realized that, yeah, this is definitely like this because I made some videos about how to clean your, I don't know, the, the typical thing that, that let me see, um, <laughs> sorry for my English. Uh, it's air conditioner, how to clean your air conditioner. This topic is like 10 years growing. So it was like, whoa, that's crazy. I don't know if 10 growing, but 10 life duration. Instead of three life duration, it's like 10 years. So if you wanna make like a very long-term business and that, it can be interesting going to that topics that people don't think, they don't seem attractive. The barrier of entry is like a bit higher and it's difficult to do like a, a good solution about that to then to then stay for a lot of years. So yeah. <laughs> what do you what do you think about uh, a higher barrier to entry, but with videos that you don't need to fucking put apart your air conditioner or fix the 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 basic, as in like the digital videos. You know what I mean? The ones you can make in front of your computer. Yeah, I, I it's like I I always have like this this question with myself. But what I realize if you want to stay on a ten years rank on this tech tech videos tech tutorials yes you have to hire i think there are two two like variables that made the uh, video ranks the first one is the amount of uh, skill that you have on the topic you are solving so if you are a shopify expert and you made a shopify tutorial and people notice that you really know about shopify because you move very fast you really know about what you are talking about people love this tutorial because they know that you are an expert about that. But the second the second variable is 
if you really know how to do a tutorial, because if you're an expert in Shopify, but you don't know about explaining the tutorial, it's like quite of shit as well. But what I realized on tutorials is that if I, I usually put a 10 and a 10, like this, like I measure these two variables, like 10 and 10. If you made a tutorial, if you make a tutorial that is a 20, I think you can stay rank for a lot of years. Just imagine a, a weeks or a Shopify expert doing a very good tutorial. It's very difficult to overcome that tutorial. So what I notice in tutorials is that all, all of people is doing volume, is doing 13, 12, 12 to 13, like <laughs> compared to this 20 that you can do. So that's why with volume and, and, and less skill you can rank. But I think if you wanna stay 10 years rank, you have to do 19 to 20 like points tutorial. <laughs> I don't know if I explained, <laughs> but. We were, we, you and I were talking about, cause right now the search channels that everybody talks about is kind of like the no niche. Yeah. Uh, you can talk about everything, right? But the thing we talked about, I remember it was about doing a search channel, but specifically about one topic, for example, Excel, right? And then the way to automate that is to hire a person who is like really good with Excel and good at making the, the tutorials, right? And then kind of I get think him. It's the next level of going on tutorials. We don't have like any reference. This is all like all my conclusions that I arrived with my experience, but we don't have any Mr. Beast on tutorials that we can see. He's making a lot of, he's making millions a month with that. But I totally think that with tutorials, you can create an audience, but it's not like the typical audience that watch every one of your videos. It's yes. an in unconscious audience that if, if you solve a good tutorial about a topic, they will return to you instead of going to the competence. So if they find another Shopify tutorial and you solve the first very good and that, they will be, they will prioritize your video instead of the other one. So I totally think that I don't know if it's that necessary to niche down one specific thing like Excel, but you can do all Microsoft tutorials. If you are the best doing Microsoft because you are an expert and you know how to do it, you will have a very huge audience of that and you will stay instead of three years ranked, 10 years ranked because it's very difficult to overcome a person that is an expert and made a very good tutorial about the topic. So. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, uh, I think we're going to jump now to questions, but I think at the end of the day, what really also, you know, puts apart everything really, whether it's search or browse is making the best video possible, right? Totally. If there are, if there are five channels, search channels, right. And they're all making videos about, let's say Shopify, right. But like four of them are so, so, and one of them is like crazy good. I think the crazy good one is going to rank eventually. Totally. Yeah. Only, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Totally. Totally. <laughs> okay. Okay. Felix. Hey guys, what's up? Um, <clears throat> I have so many questions, but I'll ask this one first. Um, where would you put the affiliate links or why are you putting them? Because I am not too sure if I, for example, um, I had a viral video that got like 150 K views. And I didn't want to put any affiliate links in like the description or any anywhere because I I had the fear of that it would like affect the ranking because it would be like taking people off the platform. And you did some Amazon affiliate links. So where would you recommend to put them in the description, in the comments? Yeah. Usually it's like thing you can just the two ways that you can put it is just the description and comment, like pin comment. Like it's usually the two the two like sites that you can put it on or in a end screen as well, or I don't know. I just put it there. But my main like thing is if this affiliate has sense, usually it's like more like that because I, I think a lot of my affiliates videos ranks because they always have sense recommending the affiliate and putting in on description. Because if you just try to put it there to see like, let's see what happens. I will put it and let's see if someone buys. Usually nobody will buy. Because I think you have to think a lot more. It's like my dog's affiliate was like, this is solving a very huge problem because a lot of people want to buy this dog and there is a lot of a scam on internet. So I'm, I'm like apporting like trust. I'm apporting that I have one that I experiment where they are now 
and I'm solving the problem with this girl that is doing very good. So more about where to put on, I think it's like, if you really trust on the affiliate you are recommending and you think it's necessary for them, it will work. At least with my experience, that was. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah good point. Um, for me, it's a bit different because my like browse content. Okay. So I think if I will not put like a call to action anywhere, it would make no sense that probably nobody will buy because nobody like, it goes in the description and be like, oh yeah, let me buy that because um, it's not like a problem they're searching for. Okay. Why don't like, Why don't you wanna add it? Why don't you wanna have, add a call to action? No, uh, that's that would be the idea to add one so that yeah, they yeah. would go. And don't be afraid about YouTube done recommending. I think at at the end of the day, it's like worth making ten times more and losing a bit of traction, po potential traction. Uh, and you don't know because if you have a good retention as well and that. YouTube can still recommend you, I think, so, yeah. I think it's about market fit and what Marcel said about, like, actually providing what makes sense for the audience. It's like, if if you actually solve a problem or if you actually believe in, in what you're selling or offering and it's actually a good thing, then you're, the other way to think about it is you're doing a disservice, disservice for not offering the thing. You know what I mean? It's not like you're selling shit, right? <laughs> it's not like you're scamming people. Yeah. Right, and they're if gonna your, find value. If your product is good, people will return. Like if Mr. Reese or this type of people say, Go buy this website. Okay, you will go buy two days later or a day later, you will come again and watch Mr. Beast's videos. So this was kind of the same, at least with my poodle toy. A lot of people went by, but then they finished the video, they watched the other three, and they like so if you are doing a good product, you don't have to be afraid about selling usually. Because at least on my personal brand. I always recommend things and that, and people still watch eight videos on a row. Like, still, they go to affiliate, but they return. So it's about good product and really trusting on what you are selling. So, yeah. Cool. Thank you. You too. Yeah, hi. Okay. Hello, Marcel. Hello. So, like, my question is very simple and very short. Um, let's say that... Uh, you can make ten thousand dollars a month, but you can only make them from AdSense or from affiliate marketing. What would you choose? What What's safer for you? What What do you like more? Uh, probably AdSense. Why? If, if it's just one one of these two, probably AdSense because affiliates usually are are more. Yeah, it's it's very general question. Just yeah, but I will prefer risking my RPM goes down and, and having with AdSense than affiliates because what I experiment with affiliates is that one month you make a lot of money and the other it's like 30 euros but it's probably because I don't have this very good consistent affiliate because it's true as well that if you have a very consistent affiliate every month the same probably it will go like that but at least with AdSense, I rely that if you are doing more like long-term content and that, it it works. But I'm a very big fan of affiliates. Eh? I'm, a, I'm a big fan. But what I realized with some apps is like one day they stop I, for any reason. The video about the affiliate goes a bit down or, or they change the type of politics of the affiliates and you start turning a lot less. So that's what, what, what I experiment on my experience. So I would prefer AdSense, yeah. I think that um, like people uh, who own uh, websites and blogs can make a lot of money from uh, from affiliate. I, I I don't know, but I just have this feeling that YouTube doesn't really like one hundred percent affiliate marketing, and uh, I don't know. I, I I'm not saying that they will ban it in in the future or something like that, but. I think that they want us to, to make the money from AdSense because it's from them, because they can control things more easier and some things like that. I, I don't know. Like, uh, if you read their policies, um, their policy, you can also see that uh, they can terminate your YouTube channel for any external link that they think it's uh, it's a scam or it's phishing or, or things like that. And who knows what they will think is a scam or not. Yeah, yeah, I understand the point. Basically, for a platform view, it's better have people on your site and make money with ads. <laughs> but 
but you have to if there is if if it makes sense to do an affiliate there usually it's it's totally worth yeah i think that the best is to, to focus on your channel and on on your views on the money from adsense but if you can make money from affiliate marketing then why not yeah but usually the very big big browse channels make money from brand deals like the 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 main the main income source like it's from brand deals as well so but yeah that's yeah i, I, mean, they, I would i would i would take give my two cents on this i was watching um i don't know if you guys know the iced coffee hour podcast with graham stefan and jack and uh, they were doing an interview what i think his name is charlie and he is one of the co-owners of charisma on command big browse channel and he was talking about how most of their 80% or more of their revenue comes from course sales. And I like the point he said there that RPM is out of your control, but the views you get is not really out of your control. And I'm going to show you an example of this, what happened to me the other day. So I have this video. Can you guys see? Yep. Okay. So I had I made this video, an interview with John. Okay. Now look what happened here. The RPM was 30, 26, 23, whatever, 24, 25. And then from 25, it goes to a one. And it stays from the 1st of December till the 24th, like 25th. And then now boom 26 it jumps back up um, to 22 years can you also put the cpm please oh i see and and the views in the in that period from december one same the view the the oh the, the views you can so see first, uh, first december is there it's it was still climbing as as normal see first and do you know the cause of this what do, do you know uh what's the problem what, why did this happen no, I don't know. But this happened to me before as well. This is not the first time this has happened. And this is what I'm telling you when I say that, like, you don't really have control over your RPM. What you do have control over is generating attention traffic and then sending that to an external source of monetization. I, but, but I think it's like uh, uh, on the example that you gave us with the, the guy from Charisma on Command, that is selling uh, his course. Um, it's better when you sell your own product, your, your own course. Um, yes. Rather than affiliate marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, hundred yeah. percent. If you if you can have ownership of your product, you always want to have ownership of your product. Yep. Affiliate marketing, you're just promoting someone else's business. If they want to cut you out, your business is gone. Exactly. Anyway. Just Throw, uh, to throw in the idea for this yeah um i mean there's so much potential you could do you can product you can develop any product and for example if anybody knows it um probably some of you know uh, you can just do a funnel like a click yeah. like with click funnels you can try to build um like a value ladder like there's so much potential you can get free emails you can get um accurate data where you can actually then if you go into pay traffic whether you do it for e-commerce or a digital product like there's a lot of potential because you are at the source of the data yeah. Um, one idea I had, I like, I can share with you guys is, so my background is in e-commerce and one big thing is that you can, you have to run ads, right? But if you have, for example, the theme page regarding certain topic, for example, if I do, I do, I post videos about satisfying videos, right? So like slime, etc. And I would run short ads to this channel. The ads would be much more accurate, much more born to the audience because first of all i have already a small audience plus i see in the audience tab age location etc so the paid traffic that i could do through the page as well would be more accurate so just some ideas like how you could leverage um yeah this free traffic but why would you want to run ads to a slime channel just an example so if you would sell a slime product and you okay slime, right 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 and then you, you get, sell do you remember, do you remember matthias do you remember Matthias, the one we had last mastermind? Yeah. He actually sold slime and he did like 50,000 euros or something, something crazy. <laughs> I, I, there's a lot of great products you could do. There's yeah, a, man. 
a toy niche or do it yourself niche um cra like crafting stuff um, it's crazy and the cool thing at this business model is that you are at the source so you will get accurate data you could reuse for paid traffic because if you do all these drop shippers and all these people in e-commerce they they pay pay to get these views right and they have no clue about who their audience is and they just have like like pay to get the first kind of data but for example you've built this channel you get the first initial set of data already so yeah. but this is what it is like okay so there's two ways to go about it you either pay for traffic or you get it for free right you get impressions right this is what we are all about here we're getting like impressions if you can get impressions if you can get served if you can get attention you can you can direct it in any way you want sell your own products direct it anywhere right but the hard thing is getting the attention because you're competing with so many people right ultimately but i think an interesting point to get it back to marcel now is uh he made recently a video last video where he said adios where he's leaving search you want to talk a little bit about that and and your plan uh, cause I saw that video and I, and as soon as I did, I wrote you a message. I'm like, bro, like what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, I can talk about it, but first I don't know if be, for closing to, to, to tutorials, I will read like two questions on, oh, on the, chat, the chat and then I can explain oh, my right. next plan if you want to know. Uh, first is like, uh, I'm at war, you were paying, you said that you were paying $4 for videos. Is that short or long videos? Is short videos like three minutes videos? Usually in my long videos in English, I paid like twelve dollars, and on Spanish, I'm paying like eight or nine, like eight minute videos usually. Bro, but I mean, I mean, I think he means like short, as in the vertical. Short, yeah, okay, no, no, not no, short, I... like three minutes like you normal video not short ones yeah yeah, yeah. long for me three minutes yeah and yeah. then uh what was the Grand reason for that three three thousand dollars affiliate month can you detail about it it was because on spain we had a trend i'll talk like tiktok now like tiktok promote like the new platform that is like a competence of be real and that so then i i they they pay you two, two euros for every new member that joins to the app. And then if they connect, if this new member connects, they pay you like one euro per day that they connect on a seven days basis. I don't know if I understand, but basically I, it was a very trending topic. So I then realized I will make a, I will make a video about how to make money with TikTok now. And I put my referral link. And I explain the tutorial, like if it's not my referral link, it's like a link that works. Is um, how, how do you manage the AdSense um, stuff? Because you said you have multiple channels, you connect to all to one AdSense account. Do you have multiple ones? You have maybe also one in the U US. Yeah. Yeah, I have how an LLC like on United States, on on New Mexico, La, and then then all all my accounts go to that adsense basically it's all on yes. one adsense all, all on one adsense but i have two adsense my personal adsense of my name and then the business adsense so i can divide if i want but i prefer all going to the business and then dividing that but why uh, why america why the us and why new mexico that's yeah. very interesting yeah <laughs> <laughs> It helps a lot my brother because he he's like uh, he's a lot more expert than me on LLCs and and he is from Spain as well. But we bought a course and and we talk with with some lawyers and people that it's more expert and they recommend us. So I made it with my tax that it's like a company that manage you everything, all the papers and everything. So it's basically because. It's a bit trick if you make money online having an LLC. I will recommend you if you don't know about it, like to inform because I think it's quite interesting. Because then, at least on Spain, you don't have to be uh, to pay the autonomous tax, or uh, and you can have this LLC and then you just pay 25% of all your earnings at the end of the year. But as you are making money on United States and you are living on Spain, Spain 
like has to talk to the United States to do a manual revisions to know how, where are you spending on the money and the United States don't care anything about where you spend the money. So I can spend a lot of my YouTube money reinvesting like on some dinners, lunches and a lot like on my uh, petrol of my car, all these things I can it can be more business expenses and I will not have any problem because I'm I'm just anonymous almost from a state <laughs> almost no anonymous so they will never say <laughs> revise Marcel Marcel LLC to see how where is he spending so that's the main reason basically but yeah I'm not the best on this legal stuff and that I think I'm, I, I'm making good things of my brother and that but I don't know that much yeah okay so the location for all the accounts you have is United States and when you monetize them you all put them to one business um, AdSense account. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. One mm -hmm. interesting thing, I don't know if, oh. if you are more open to that. It's like I have like 10 people more or less working on and the channels are managing like almost automated and that. So I will continue managing the channels a part of my new idea. So I think it's more like or it can interest you about this part of managing teams and that. <laughs> I don't know, but I just had this idea. So, yeah. Sure. You have you have Instagram? Somewhere we can contact you? Yeah, I have Instagram. I, it's like, I will put it on the chat. So if you want to. Or I'm on the Discord as well. But it's, yeah, I will put it. I have a, like, a quite personal brand. YouTube automation, but on, Sp on Spanish. I will improve my English to change to English on the future. It's very good already. No worries. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Me, hi. Okay, Marcel. So you said that you have a, a personal AdSense account and the business one, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like, what if you have multiple multiple businesses? Can you have multiple AdSense accounts? Because, like, in Romania, you can tomorrow, if I want, I can create one hundred businesses on my name i think yeah but i i don't have any idea now but i think that if you have new business you can create new accounts with these new business names if you confirm that it's a business and that because you have to upload papers and that and then you have to upload the w8 ban form if not you will yeah. pay 30 percent and you have to do some things but i think so yeah but can't so you only like, have like 35? one account? What? Oh. Go Don't ahead. You... Can't you only have like one AdSense account? I think That's legally, okay. yeah. I think so, but like I think YouTube, I don't know, eh? but I, I think that I read that you can just have one on YouTube, like say you that. But why would you yeah. want to have, why would you want to have multiple? I don't know. I'm, I'm just asking. I'm curious because, uh, like, if you have a business, you you have uh, different. If you have two businesses, you have two different uh, two different bank accounts, two different addresses. So they are like two two di completely two different things. So maybe that that's why I'm asking if you could have two. Yeah, maybe. I think so. But... Someone wrote in the chat that you can have one access account per business identity. Yeah. A lot of people okay. have multiple because if one gets shut down, they all lose their income. Okay, got it. Yeah. Like uh, when I, I think like a, a lot of uh, people that do YouTube automation want to move to Dubai from here because it mm -hmm. it tax free. So if I have my right now, I have my uh, business in Romania um, to in the which the money from YouTube comes. So tomorrow, if I want to open a business in Dubai uh can i create another adsense account or i need to close this one from romania and create another one uh for the business which is in dubai you can probably just switch the information inside the adsense account yeah or oh. <laughs> or on the the worst thing will be closing and opening a new one probably 